Schematic reading provides a structured approach to understanding how each part of the furnace contributes to its overall function and assures a more efficient diagnosis. There are two types of diagrams, connection diagrams and schematic diagrams. A connection diagram shows the physical connections and layout of an electrical system. It illustrates how components are physically connected and arranged. A connection diagram may also be referred to as a pictorial diagram. A schematic diagram is designed to show the electrical connections and functions of the system. It focuses on how the circuit works rather than how it looks physically. Schematic diagrams may also be referred to as wiring diagrams or ladder diagrams. Reading a schematic diagram involves understanding the symbols, layout, and the flow of the circuit. Here is a basic process for reading schematics. Step 1. Look for a legend that explains the symbols and abbreviations. Step 2. Identify the components that convey and consume power. A component that conveys power passes the voltage through the contacts, such as thermal switches, pressure switches, and relay contacts. A component that consumes power does work, such as the inducer motor, igniter, the blower motor, the transformer, the gas valve, and the CPU. Step 3. Identify the power sources. Step 4. Trace the signal path. We begin with the 115 volt power source. The voltage is conveyed through the ILK, travels to an open IDR contact, travels to the blower motor, travels to a normally open EACR, and finally travels to the transformer. The transformer consumes power, therefore must return to its source. This completes the electrical circuit allowing current to flow continuously. The ECM blower motor has constant line voltage to the module. The ECM module consumes power, therefore returning to its source on the neutral wire. The secondary power source created by the transformer steps down the voltage to 24 volts. The voltage branches to the CPU and conveys through the fuse. After the fuse, the voltage branches to an input on the CPU and a normally open BLWR, then conveyed through the FRS1, LS2, LS1, and FRS2. The voltage travels to an input on the CPU and branches off to the R terminal. The CPU consumes power and must return back to its source on the 24 volt common. Step five, apply the sequence of operations. Each manufacturer's CPU sequence of operation can vary slightly, but the component sequence of operation will be the following. A call for heat. The inducer energizes. Pressure switches close. Source of ignition. Gas valve energizes. Flame proving. And finally, the blower motor. Watch our next video, schematically applying the sequence of operations will help improve your schematic reading skills.